What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I have some important news to discuss about jailbreaking on iOS 14, iOS 14.0.1, iOS 13.7, 13.6.1 and so on for A12, A13 devices but also for the lower devices below A12. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a system repair software that allows you to fix multiple iOS issues, upgrade and downgrade your device, fix iTunes issues and so on. Definitely check it out in the link below. So I'm going to start with the very very bad news first. iOS 14.0 is no longer signed. It has stopped being signed today, a couple of minutes ago. And this is actually pretty big news for the jailbreak community because iOS 14.0 also patches an important part of this exploit in here which does have TFP0 as I talked with the developer and also I talked with the developer and they said they're going to release the exploit. Now they also mentioned the fact that the exploit can be updated to work with 14.0 if we can swap the component that has been patched. So iOS 14.0 is no longer signed. You should definitely stay where you are and do not update your device to 14.0.1. It's not a good idea. There are multiple things going on in the jailbreak community and of course we will get soon a jailbreak exploit from this developer in here that will be usable to update and cover for iOS 13.7 and lower but iOS 14 is in a very very delicate position. Not only we don't have an exploit that would work for uncovered yet but also Apple has added some very important thing to the iOS 14 which is definitely going to make tweaks a little bit harder to do and it will require at least some more patching than usual. And I'm talking about app a test. But as you probably know right now not even CheckRain supports iOS 14 very well. It only supports it on A9, X and lower devices which is basically the iPhone 6s and the iPhone SE and stuff like that which are pretty old by today's standards and the reason for that is SEP. Apple not only added the app integrity protection in iOS 14 they also hardened a little bit the SEP. With iOS 14 it's no longer possible to decrypt the user partition if the device boots from DFU, which was possible in iOS 13 and lower. But for those of you who are using CheckRain, this is actually pretty bad news because as you probably know, you are booting from DFU. There is no getting away from that and that's how the jailbreak works. Everything is actually explained in this little page in here, which I mentioned before by the CheckRain team. But anyways, iOS 14 does seem to put some problems even for the CheckRain team, which as you probably know, have an unpatchable bootroom exploit so they can basically jailbreak any iOS version they want so it's not like they need TFP0 or anything like that. The problem is not TFP0 for the check rain, the problem is the SEP and the new hardening that was added in iOS 14. So it's very very important to stay as low as possible especially now since iOS 14.0 has been unsigned. iOS 14.0.1 is worse and of course things will get worse as we progress. iOS 14.0.2 as far as I know is already in the beta so we expect more and more iOS 14 updates soon. So if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible with either Uncover or with the check rain, definitely stay as low as possible because right now the situation doesn't look extremely good for iOS 14. There are multiple bugs and yes, there are multiple jailbreaks that have been achieved, including one by the ABC research team. But that one will likely not be published. And for the check rain, the biggest thing we have for now is the Blackbird. You probably remember the Pango team member Howl or Wind known in here posted quote enjoy Blackbird which is red and if you open that is this presentation called attack secure boot of SEP. In here they demonstrate a couple of SEP related bugs and vulnerabilities and how to exploit them and this is very important for the check rain team. They are hoping to use that in the future to support more devices on iOS 14 and the devices that they are planning to support is the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPad 6 and 7 generation, iPod Touch 7 and of course iPad Pro 2nd generation. But for the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and even iPhone 10, the iOS 14 is a very very bad iOS version to be on because it cannot be jailbroken right now, not even with the very powerful check ring because the Blackbird exploit series do not support those devices. Now what about that app test Apple introduced in iOS 14 and how is that going to make tweaking a little bit harder? Well with iOS 14, Apple introduced for the developers of iOS applications a way to check if their application has been modified. So this is called app 
got a test and this is actually done on hardware level which is actually very bad because it's very hard to patch that unless you actually disable the feature completely somehow so what this means is that we can no longer tweak or modify various applications because if we do they will fail on the app test and the application will know it has been patched and it will refuse to start and of course that's bad now I'm pretty sure that this can indeed be patched if we can get TFP zero we might be able to even bypass this in here but it's still yet another hurdle in iOS 14 that we don't have on 13.7 and lower that we have to bypass before we can have a proper jailbreak on iOS 14 so definitely stay where you are iOS 13.7 13.6.1 13.5.1 13 these are the best iOS versions to stay on for the moment if you want to jailbreak as fast as possible we have exploits that have been announced for these iOS versions as for iOS 14 private jailbreaks have been achieved but there are multiple things to fix first including for check range so definitely avoid it as much as you can thank you for watching I am Geosnow till the next time peace out